Who you want to fight? Man, I mean, I want to fight. I want to fight everybody. Who you want to fight? But really, I want to. 85 South make a hat. <laughs> <laughs> Man, I'm the champ. They should want to fight me. There you go. Ooh, I like that. Oh, I like that. Hear it. There you go. Speaking of which, welcome back to the 85 South Show. Yeah. Don't ask him what he want to ask them. We've been yeah. kicking so much ass on the Ghetto Legends tour. Come on now. We figured we should bring a Ghetto Legend in here who be kicking people ass. Real ass. Young Ghetto Legend. Young Ghetto Legend. Young Ghetto Legend. I'm talking about it, man. I mean, vicious. The nigga don't even need no long intro, nigga. All I'm gonna say is, come on. ain't nobody beat him. Mm -mm. Come on. Mama, go right. knock you out. Come on. <laughs> ain't they ain't no, nigga. 29 they all, and over. Whenever they see his father, they always like that nigga in the ring with Chico Bean. So salute to your daddy. That nigga be like, that nigga Chico in the ring with that man. That's, that's the one I posted. Yeah. I posted that one, too. Nah, don't try to put that one. 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 No, I mean, because they know Chico got no response. So I get tagged in all the shit that they want to tell them. That nigga don't got that time of her in your ass. Like Hell no, man. None other than the young legend, mm -hmm. Devin Haynes. Devin Haynes. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah. Whooping ass, man. Yeah. Man, before we even get to talking about this boxing shit, talk, let's talk some San Francisco shit. Yeah, I mean, I was born in San Francisco, but, you know, I'm from Oakland. Yeah. Uh-oh. Oh, yeah, oh, I'm from the town. I'm from the town. You see how I said that? Weird, I knew we was about to get yeah. into that. Right, right. <laughs> Yeah, so it's town business over here. Town from, business. You know, my mama from San Francisco, my pops from Oakland, so you know I still got both both ties. Yeah, that's what it is. Yeah, town Coming business. from from Oakland, y'all got some some you know rich history with the fighters out of Oakland. Like, uh -huh. do you feel like that's you know uh, more pressure on you to be one of the greatest? Cause you know you got a, a couple people that come out the yeah, town. Yeah, we got some we got some good fighters. Uh, but I just feel like no nobody really like did it out of Oakland. Like nobody really carried Oakland like 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 I'm like I'm doing. Especially at such a young age, like, mm -hmm. and, like putting it on their back. Of course, we had Andre Ward. That's what I was just about to say, I just Andre feel like Ward. Nobody like really like took it, took it there. Bro, what got you in the fight game? Uh, when I was young, I was fighting a lot of school. My dad took me to the gym one day because he like, you know, I got to fight at school. And he like, if you want to keep fighting at school, I'm gonna take you to the gym. You're gonna get beat up. And every time you keep fighting, I'm gonna keep bringing you back to the gym, and you gonna get beat up at the, in the gym. And uh, shit ain't work. Yeah, whooped no. everybody at I the mean, gym. <laughs> so you was, you was out there fighting, whooping ass, and he wanted you to come to the gym and get your ass whooped. Yeah, exactly. Oh, okay. But yeah. it did work because, you know, I whooped some, some niggas ass in the gym, and then I stopped fighting in, in school and shit, so it did work. Right. You got it up. He was like, yeah, I just need somebody ass. <laughs> like, hey, my son in school <laughs> fucking up. He all whooped his ass. <laughs> do, okay, do the best you can. I ain't know the nigga was like that. He good. He good. Nah, he good. I'm sorry. <laughs> Hold on. No. What you mean y'all ain't whoop his ass? Remember, you know how that crazy that probably was for his pop? Like, this little nigga winning. <laughs> Damn. He ain't got no fight. He got some. He got some. Don't smoke, smoke no weed. Don't brown the channel, nah, man. Nah, I'll be getting tested, though. So uh -huh. they just oh, all right, baby. We ain't going to smoke. We ain't going to wait. We ain't going to wait. I'm going to roll it, but I ain't going to. Like, yeah, the gym call. Can you come get your son? Yeah, all the way. Doing the same shit he doing at school. We can't do shit with him. Either. Why you brought him down here? <laughs> now, being a, being a, a, a fighter in the game now, uh, like it's it's a lot. Uh, it's different than what it was. I'm sure you know. You know, as a just a fighter, you probably a fan of the sport. Like, do you think that the intensity of boxing and and what boxing was, let's say in the, the '90s or the '80s, with your historian aspect of knowing the sport, do you think that it'll ever get back to that? As far as get back to what? I mean, as far as the intensity, like the it being the number Real one sport. sport. Like you know, boxing at one point, like everybody was, all the big fights were made. Yeah. Everybody who was somebody, I'm talking about the Durans yeah. versus the Sugar Rays versus the, you know, what I mean, all of that type. Of, with a, with the guys, it's not so much of a business all the time. Where it's like the two best people get in the ring and fight for the yeah. sake of the boxing. Um. Yeah. I mean, it's way more money in the sport of boxing now. So of course it's gonna be. Uh, even more of a business than it was back in the day. They was fighting for like crumbs compared to what, what we fighting for these days. So of course it's gonna be way more business in it. And but I do feel like the best is fighting the best. We got more undisputed champions than probably ever before. Like you know guys who unifying the whole division. So um, we may not like you know fully like respect it now, but eventually like you from years down the line we gonna we gonna look back and say like this was a good era of boxing. Okay. So, who was the fight that, that you want to see as a fan, not just as a, you know, who yeah, would I, you want to see? I, 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 it's two fights. I want to see, I want to see Deontay Wilder and Anthony Joshua, and yeah, I want to see, see, I wanna and see I want to see 
uh, Bud and Spence. Spence, yeah, that's gotta, the one I want to see. That, that's the I want to see Bud and Spence bad. Right. Yeah. But yeah. I also want to see Ryan Garcia and Javante Davis, I wanna too. See that too. I want to see, I wanna see I wanna you see fight one of them, yeah. too, though. And I, wanna, I, and, I, and I would love to fight either one of them. Have you ever sparred any of them? Yeah, I sparred spar Tank and I sparred Ryan. Oh. So when y'all be sparring, do y'all do y'all be trying to figure each other out or y'all just be going in there blow for blow? Yeah, I mean... We shit. I look at sparring like a fight, like because what you gonna do in sparring, same thing you gonna do in a fight. You can't just like turn the switch on and turn it off. <clears throat> what a nigga doing practice, he gonna do in the game. So that's that's how I feel. So I take sparring serious. Right. I'm trying to knock a nigga head off. <laughs> <laughs> who, 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 who it go good for? You you a Vante? What you mean? In the sparring? <laughs> Me. <laughs> oh! Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh oh. That's why I love boxing, because both of them niggas, he was sitting right there, right. like, I fuck that nigga up. Man. I, that nigga okay. I love But that's something y'all don't talk about unless ass, though, right? right. Like, nah, because, I mean, at the end of the day, it's, 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 it's practice, it's, it's sparring. They say what's done in the gym is supposed to stay in the gym, but, I mean, shit, you asked me, I got to tell you. I did, I damn sure yeah. did. I damn sure did. Yeah. start shit. <laughs> no, this is how you bring fights. Yeah. This is how you do it. But back on what Chico said, like, looking at how boxing is now, it's got like different avenues, different ranges and shit. Like my brother was a big boxing fan. That's how I knew about boxing because he probably bought every fight, every, he sat in the front with his recliner, eating a steak, watching Sugar Ray, all these niggas. And it's like, when you see like the Jake Pauls and shit, mm -hmm. doing out in the celebrity boxing, how do y'all feel about this? This is, we call it exhibition. Yeah. I mean, oh, that's I, boxing. All right. I fuck with Jake Paul. That nigga could fight. I mean, I fuck with him. Yeah. He never could fight. Yeah. This is, but he the fight. first one who took it and was like, I'm going to be the yeah. main front of the exhibition fights and call yeah. niggas out and whoop they ass. Yeah, but now he fighting for real. So, I mean, he just blew, it was a, like, you know, a gateway. Right. And like, he brought like way more eyeballs to the sport of boxing. So you got to respect it. And he actually could fight. He actually really taking the shit serious. So Thanks. you got to respect it. I mean, but with that being said, like, the, the level of competition is always something that's, you know, talked about in boxing. Like, nigga always say you fighting cab drivers. You ain't fighting nobody that really got the skill set to really challenge you. Do you think that on that side of the game, the exhibition side, even though it's bringing eyeballs, do you think that it hurts the sport because guys who got the opportunity to really turn up and fight him with the skill set aren't getting those opportunities? Yeah, um, I don't know. I, I don't know. That's, that, that's a tough question because... At the end of the day, he really not even a real fighter, for real, for real. Like, I mean, he, he's making his transition, so, but he not really a real fighter, so he... he talk like one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean, because he's trying to make his transition, and he, 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 he marketed himself better than a lot of other people is, so you got, I, I just respect what he's doing, for real, for real. Right. What makes you a professional and what makes you not? Because right now, even with exhibitions, right? Yeah. I mean, begin televised, yeah. we whooping ass, we making money like the boxers. What makes it different? Yeah, I mean, it's different when you when when you actually a pro, you, the gloves get smaller, mm -hmm. um, the rules is different. I mean, with an exhibition, you can make up the rules however, however right. you want. Right. The gloves, they, they be fighting with like 16 ounce gloves. When you, eight when it's ounce. A pro, eight, when it's a pro fight, a real pro fight, you fight with eight ounce gloves. Eight ounce, mm -hmm. yeah. You know what I'm saying? That shit sanctioned, that shit Ooh. just totally different. Boy. So that's, that's another shit. eight ounces you don't on the know, gloves? No, no, that, that's it's like, down to no, eight ounces. It's, really, it's the less, gloves. It's the gloves is one of the first things. So, so 16 ounces is more gloves? Gloves yeah. is not to yeah. protect you, the fighters. It's to really protect your hands. I know. That's what I'm so saying. So 16 ounces is more gloves. It's more yeah. gloves. Yeah. Them eight ounce gloves. Boy, you ever get hit with one of them, you be like, hey, there's some nothing in that glove. Yeah, nigga. feel like a fist. Nigga, yeah, yeah. it's a fist, bro. It hurts so with, bad. With, that's what, with them eight ounce that's gloves, what retired can, me, nigga. You hear the gloves. Like, when you when nigga miss, you hear that shit. Like, you can hear that shit. Going across, that shit, man, it's getting real. Boy. I thought the bigger the glove, the harder it is. I mean, no, I know if the smaller nah, you get, you might nah. as well just punch a nigga, but. Nah, yeah, yeah nah. Yeah, I nah, thought yeah. with a glove, glove, man, I'll never forget, nah. bro. We was fighting, I was, well, I, I really started because the nigga was starring shit with my little nephew, and he went from my neighborhood. So I was like, all right, nigga, you gonna put these gloves on, and I'm finna punch your ass. And he was laughing, like, huh, huh. I'm like, all right. I'm putting the gloves on. I'm like, nigga, if you don't put them on, I'm just gonna punch your ass anyway. So when I put them on, I start walking towards that. He was like, all right, we put them on, right? I'm beating him, I'm beating him. Boop, 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 boop. I don't know where this motherfucker came. I don't know where this right hand came, but it came. When this nigga hit me, all I heard was, boom. 
And the whole neighborhood was like, ooh. But he over here, you feel what I'm saying? I'm like, I need to be looking this way, you feel me? So I knew from a fist and a glove, that was too different. Now I got hit with a fist, yeah. but that was the hardest I ever got hit in my life really? with a glove. Yeah. And it was Cause, almost. Because you just got more, you got more one. protection, so you could really just hit a nigga as hard as you want because you because you, you ain't got to worry about really hurting your Breaking hands. Your head, right? But you still can, you know, I, I've learned just in a way, just, you know, I got a box and shit in my basement, man, and it's like, I've learned just in hitting the heavy bag, specifically with the gloves on, your wrist is really where the pain come in because yeah. you, you got to know how to hit that yeah. bag right. I mean, and it's like. It just depends on how you, how, however you, Ball your fist and however you hold your hands, you could be your knuckles could be hurting, your wrist could be hurting, your thumb could be hurting. Right? Have you ever had any of those issues? Because yeah, I mean, you know always, Floyd always, always known for yeah. breaking his hands yeah, and fights. Always, always. My, 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 after my hand, after my last fight, my whole hand was swollen. Like mm. that just, that just come with it. You get used to it though. Yeah, yeah. You just get used to it. Do they have anything like in fight that that kind of helps? You know, anything nah. that's that you did. <laughs> yeah, that you did. Nah. I mean, nah. Yeah, I'm just saying. Right, I don't know. You know what I mean? Professional hand wraps on, like hand wraps. Gloves, that's it. I ain't, ain't nothing you can do about it. Once it start hurting, you gotta just keep punching till them shits go numb. They gotta cut them bitches off anyway. Yeah. So ain't yeah. no getting in there. Who you watch? Like who? Who is bad? There's so many boxes. Man. I'm a Sugar Ray fan. I, yeah, I, I love Sugar and, Ray and too. And me, I, I feel like I'm a Sugar Ray all day, every day. So it's like who you I saw watch? I hit a motherfucker 76 times in a row, and he didn't get hit. Yeah, For the real. motherfucker counted. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he was smooth, bro. Sugar yeah, Ray, like Sugar Ray. Sweet Pea was one of my favorites. I like Roy Jones. Roy Jones. Roy oh, was man. Roy was a Roy was a ghost. Yeah. Man, it broke my heart when Roy. Not. Oh, you gotta watch fucking Sugar Ray Robinson. Fight. That's sure, the greatest. They, they the just greatest. recently put a lot of his old I fights. Mean, up. Like, this mean, motherfucker was fighting with the Cab Calloway swoop, swoop, swoop nigga. nigga the comp. He was whooping niggas ass and swooping his shit out the way at the same time. And, and the thing about Sugar Ray Robinson is like 60 of his fights was before they had cameras to film niggas right. fights. Man, they don't know how many fights Sugar Ray this motherfucker had. He was fighting three times a week. Did he get nine from Sugar Ray? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. And, and, I know for me, if you was a uh, Roy Jones fan, you know, you younger, but I remember when this shit happened, man. It wasn't when he lost to Tarver that broke my heart. When that nigga got knocked out by Glenn Johnson with them white gloves Ooh, on, man, I hurt. thought Roy died, bro. <laughs> I thought Roy that was, was dead. Was that Roy stayed in the hospital all weekend. I, I was scared. Roy that shit was dead in the ring, my nigga. I was hurt because they hit him with the smelling salts and he still ain't get up. I'm like, oh, this nigga done killed Roy. That and shit hurt. That shit hurt. That was my towards heart. the end, though. Uh, no, that was right, right. after Tava. Bro, because he okay. remember. Yeah, yeah, okay. You don't watch right Razor yeah. Reddit. Nah. That yeah. motherfucker. Razor Reddit. Yeah. Yeah, that was a hell of a name. I love all them, but I don't Come know. On. It's something about Floyd. Floyd, that, Floyd the greatest. That Floyd just the greatest. Different, bro. That nigga just different. He mastered it. What's, like, your, mastered. what's your? Do you have a favorite Floyd fight? Um, I like the early ones. It's a tie for me. It's two different times. I don't think I got I love all his fights. Like, just the art, just the, the hit and not get hit. Like, Floyd, Floyd really is mastered. Shane Mosley. Right. That yeah. boy, he got caught yeah, on that Shane Mosley. Because he got caught, and then he just early whooped too. his ass. Yeah, early. Yeah. 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 Shane yeah. Mosley. There's only two people who probably really had a chance with him, though. Who, who's the other Shane and Pat. I don't think Pat had a chance. You don't think Pat? I think, you know why I think Pat Not had a chance? Fought. No, no. You want to know Zab gave him problems yeah. in the yeah, Zab, beginning. Zab, yeah. Zab, 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 Zab gave him problems, but you want to know why, you want to know why I think Pat gave Floyd a problem, because that was the, that was the most Floyd has been hit body-wise. He was hitting him like, he, he was giving he was, him the body though. He was, he was giving, giving it to him, but you got to understand, every shot counts, even if it's a block, you still hit my hand, nigga. Yeah, but you still was, hit my shoulder. I don't think He was Pat, hitting him a lot. Pac, I don't think he, Pac, yeah, he ain't really do nothing with Floyd. Like, I feel like he got way, like, De La Hoya did more with Floyd than, than, yeah, than Pac. Yeah. See, y'all eyes different. Y'all yeah. see more than what we see. Yeah. <laughs> to the average person, yeah. it's like, bop, bop, bop. I just hit you three times. Yeah. But you like, nigga, you ain't hit him. Floyd, right, 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 one right, of right. Floyd's most beautiful shows was him and Arturo Gotti, man. What he did was, oh, my God. That's the part I studied before my last fight was him and Arturo Gotti. Man, the way he did, I mean, Rest I'm talking about it was crazy, man. We was watching, me and my cousin always used to watch fights with my uncle and shit. And after that fight, my uncle said, man, it's two things you never do. You never spit in the wind, because that shit going to blow right back in your face, and you never bet against Floyd Mayweather.
Facts. And that was the realest shit ever, because that nigga is just like, he's just so brilliant in the ring. Just as the defense is the hardest part of boxing, because to hit a motherfucker, every time you throw a punch, you open to get hit. So when you throw a punch and you don't get hit after you throw a punch, and then you throw three, four, and don't get hit, it's like, this nigga is not a human, man. Like the shit Floyd said when he come back to the corner. It don't have shit to do with boxing. Nigga, come over. Yeah, we're going to the club after this. Dude, bitch is right there. The bitch is right there. <laughs> you don't be catching this shit. They didn't even give it a damn. They don't be giving a fuck. Yeah, the hoes is right here. Who's in? All right, man. Hey, Jay, where the six? At 8 o'clock p.m., guess where I'm going to be? In Norfolk, Virginia. At the Harrison Opera House. That's right. Me. At the end of the day, the tour is coming to your city. Make sure you get those tickets and come fuck with your boy. Because, you know, I talk to the type of shit people like to hear. Pull up on me. Hey, it's Clayton English. Look, you want you want to keep things warm in the bedroom? It's getting cold out there. Drop the negative temperatures, you know. You want to spice it up. You want to heat it up. But you got to make sure, you know, you beat it up. So make sure you get that blue chew, man. Don't go in there, you know what I'm saying? You can't, hey, hey, don't show up with a penguin. Show up with the polar bear and leave it there. You understand what I'm saying? Hey man, look, you want to warm up the bedroom? You want to make sure you're doing the right thing in that bedroom? You want to make sure you in there you don't want to be in there floppy like a seal, man. You want to be in there strong like bull, you understand? So get you one of those blue chews, you understand? That blue chew going to get you right where you need to be. She going to wonder what's going on, and you going to wonder why it took you so long to take the blue chew, all right? Hey, the process is simple, real simple. Sign up at bluechew.com, consult with one of their licensed medical providers, and once you're approved, you'll receive your prescription within days. So if you could benefit from the extra confidence when it's time to perform, Blue Chew can help you. And we've got a special deal for our listeners. Try Blue Chew free when you use our promo code 85SOUTH at checkout. Just pay $5 shipping. That's bluechew.com, promo code 85SOUTH to receive your first month free. Come on, man. That's a month of slanging wood. There's nothing wrong with that. Right in time for the holidays. Let's go. You watched that fight before this yeah, one. Yeah, what you what you pull from that fight? Man, just uh, how he was just letting his hands go. Like Crazy. he didn't give a fuck about nothing. Arturo got he had no respect for him. Mm. He just was taking it. Oh to my him, god, he hit that nigga with a six piece when he hit him to the body around the back. Uh -huh. this, this, yep. <laughs> That nigga, I was like, oh, stop it. But she, stop but she this the is the one fight. thing I, I like about Floyd, right? In his earliest stages, he was knocking niggas out. Mm -hmm. And then he was like, you know what? I right, damn the knockout. I need to steady the game. It, he, he understood it's, it's, it's mathematics. He like, okay, I ain't, the knockout is cool. That can make win you around. But guess what? If I throw more punches and land, it's all about the scorecard. You threw 30. I threw too. 60, but I landed more. I won. That's it. That's it. They don't even care. I won. Really his uncles and them was his uncle and his daddy. Both of them was professional fighters too. So when you grow with people who understand the game, and that's what I want to ask you about now, just having your father in your corner. Yeah. How much do you think of an advantage do you think that give you having your dad in your corner? I mean, it gave me a huge advantage because my dad been there since day one, since my first day in the gym. Right. So he everything, brought you down yeah, there. literally right. every, everything I learned, my dad been there. Through, through every step of the way, so he know what I know basically, cause he he, he learned the shit. He was there when when I learned the shit, so so he know like it's like a like he know what I got in the toolbox. He know like like a video game. He know he he know my moves. He know what I, what what I can right. do. What What's I can the one do. shit he tell you the most? Man, he tell me so much shit. The most. I'm talking about that one that shit that you know he gonna say. Leave them hoes alone, son. No, I'm talking about <laughs> the boxing shit. <laughs> I told you about shit. that. Leave them bitches alone, Man, son. Man, my dad, when I tell you, we, we studied the jab for so long, like, and defense. Like, I remember, like, my dad, he used to set up, like, rocks outside the house, and I used to have to spar niggas with no headgear, and I couldn't throw no punches, and I had to just do work on all defense. Mm. Like, I couldn't throw, everything was deep, and they could do as anything that they wanted. 
So they used to be tearing the nigga up. I used to have to just take it. Right, take right. it. I used to just be hot, mad, going to the house mad as fuck. But I mean, it just made my defense so good. Then he started letting me do my jab, just my jab. One thing I can do is my jab. So I started working the jab. That's how my jab got so nice. Cause it was the only one he would let you throw. The only one he let me throw. Oh, uh, so you had to make that bitch count. He used to put count. big gloves on me, so I had these big ass gloves. I can my shit coming slow. My shit. But it they, worked they, on your speed. Yeah, though. they shit coming fast. They slip in my shit. Pop, pop, pop. I'm mad, but it made my jab. Yeah. Wait, the right. I feel like I got the best jab in. And possible. it gave you a level of composure mm -hmm. in the ring yeah, because too, not yeah. getting mad mm -hmm. in a fight is uh -huh. very, very important. Mm -hmm. Like keeping your composure, even if you, yeah. you know, yeah. I think that's something that he told you. If you get hit with a big shot, that's one shot. You right. gotta, you know, what I'm saying, stay, stay, stay relaxed. So what's the biggest shot you think you'd ever got hit with? The biggest. When, when I fought a dude named Jorge Linares, he, like I said, he hit me, boom. He, I didn't even feel like he could punch hard into that to that time where he hit me. I didn't even see the shit. He, and Sound like me, my boy. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so I was the ones you never see. He was looking at his own back. <laughs> so what? So what? You seen that? No so yeah, cap. So yeah, he hit me. I had to hold on. I had to tie his ass up. And yeah. what's the biggest shot you think you didn't ever hit a motherfucker with? Shit, I hit a motherfucker. I damn near thought I killed him. Hit him with an overhand right. And I uh, I, I got knocked out of the year for that one. Because I hit that nigga so hard. For real? <laughs> yeah. Damn. Ooh. I was a dude named Antonio Moran. Damn. Look it up. Ooh. That shit's crazy. Yeah. So how do you go Ooh. pro? Because I would think I, about going I, I, pro. I went to the locker room after the fight. His fucking, his face was like that. Ooh. Nigga had a stack Damn. of money on yeah. his shit. Yeah, that's <laughs> a nigga Mr. Bane yeah. in his neck, that's his old face fat. <laughs> you know, I don't understand, like, that's the type of stuff that we got to go through to, to feed our families. Right. right. So even with the amateur, like, you, anybody can be an amateur. Mm. That means you're just trying to fight. What makes you pro? Like, how do you get qualified for pro? See, that's the thing about boxing. We don't got to go through, like, a league, or we don't got to go through nothing. Like, any, you can be pro right now. You I heard. Saying? Niggas just sign yeah. up and be like, you pro? How you do that? <laughs> yeah, I signed up on that night. <laughs> <laughs> you need no. fight. Okay. No, they got no. some. They got some fights on Instagram that one dude, you know, like, saying, you know, that nigga came out there just like, yeah, I know you. got hit, hey, bro, you talking about, uh, brother? What? Get your ass on. <laughs> <laughs> so you can just sign up, People right? Like, know the yeah. anybody, anybody can turn pro. That's the only thing about boxing. Anybody can turn pro. But that means you can't fight on the street no more. That's not true. Because your hands are not weapon. That's not true. Yeah, that's a myth. That's a myth. That's Nobody a registers stuff. their hands. <laughs> yeah. That's not true. Right. I thought if you were a professional fighter and you punched no, a nigga, no, nigga, no, you, you can go you, to prison. No, you That was motherfuckers that. that couldn't fight hey, trying yeah, to lie yeah, about yeah, my yeah, hands yeah, are yeah, registered yeah. weapons in my ear. Shut up! Shut your ass up! That's a nigga camping. Hey, that's exactly what that's for all man. niggas who can't fight for real. Yeah. And be acting like he boxing, so I go sign up at a boxing gym and be like, oh, now I can't fight because my hands are registered. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Shut up. You can't yeah. register. Yeah. You go to, the, go to any station and say, yeah, I want to register my hands. Get the fuck out of here, yeah. nigga. Ain't nobody well, I register. just want to tell everybody who watching this shit, don't ever fight a nigga that boxed. Ever in your life. No. Please. This is Get not a regular ass. ass it's not, it's not. My uncle got beat up by a nigga that boxed. <laughs> No. I went. They called the house and said, y'all gotta come down. They called my dad. They're like, you gotta come down here. My uncle in the background like, yeah, man, this nigga hit me with a bat. <laughs> <laughs> and we go down there, go to the project and shit. They're like, nah, that nigga ain't hit your brother no bat. That nigga whooped your brother ass. No. No. Yeah. This nigga all in, I see you and shit. Yeah, it's thorough. Because <laughs> the motherfucker hitting you so many that different ways. Oh, no, what that boy hit me with? That nigga just had to say what it felt like. Yeah. <laughs> Y'all pull up. The nigga push me in traffic. Yeah. <laughs> nigga threw me on 75. I know I got hey, hit man. in the kidneys. They thought the nigga, shit. Thought nigga, nigga shot that. me, nigga. Fuck, Fuck that. That, that, that pain, like, that pain that comes when you get hit the, it's more, you get hit the face, it's get hit the face, but that body. You ain't lying. Oh, Jesus Christ. All you got to do is hit a nigga to the body. Oh, so my God, man. What is this that I ain't gonna lie. A nigga hit me in the kidneys, I pissed on myself. What did you get hit in the kidneys? Yeah, kidneys, yeah. Kidneys, yeah. I'm a boy that said. Yeah. Yeah, you Rodney Williams, hey, salute to you, my nigga. Cause that knocked your hair out, knock you. That nigga hit me in my kidneys and made me pee on myself, man. Yeah, yeah, you get hit too hard. A nigga Rodney made you piss on yourself, my boy? Yeah, we was, I mean, it was in a fight, we was boxing, but yes, sir. Did you pee? Then or you peed on the way in? Immediately. Immediately. <laughs> there's no, there's no, there's no pause in the piss. <laughs> what? It comes immediately. So soon as you got the hit, 
you like, who? I didn't say right? something, nigga. I'm talking about, man, I, like, then we fighting, and I <laughs> threw and missed, and he hit me right here. Boom! Pee pee. Urine. Pee pee. Down the leg. Right on down the boot, down. everything. I'm just on that bitch. <laughs> 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 no. He felt so bad. He was like, bro, you good? <laughs> 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 Never make that noise, man. You ever hear a nigga make that noise? That uh, 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 uh. you peep in. That's it's, uh, no, everything's gone, bro. You're, yeah, you're bro. on your way to like see the king. You kiss blood if you get hit too yeah, hard. Yeah, hell yeah, you be pissing. That's blood. fucked up. You get hit yeah, so hard, your body's this. immediate response is to piss. Yeah. Like, so and, and you get no I other pee -pee. circumstances. Your body I'm sure if I piss. had the shit, that would have came too. That's what I'm saying. Like, That's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That body I different. Before a fight, though. That that body different, man. The chin, you get hit in the chin. You go to sleep or you get dropped. But that body, when you see a nigga hitting the body, that's what my motherfuckers you, laugh at. If you street uh, fight a nigga, you hit a nigga in the body, it's over it's with. It's over niggas with. Niggas ain't right. about to how many niggas, average niggas, you know, just going home and doing some sit-ups before they go to yeah. sleep or something? Right. Right. Yeah, they gonna eat a body part. Yeah, you right. came for that. Oh, you gonna explode. All like, you came about is the head. You yeah. like, yeah, yeah. you about to hit me in the head. head. You get one going. To the stomach. <laughs> I'm pee -pee. talking about, bro, right. yeah. <laughs> the noise that you a nigga gonna make is gonna be that. You're gonna you piss, buddy. You ever had the wind knocked out you? Nigga, that's why I got asthma. <laughs> <laughs> you caught asthma, nigga? I didn't know. I was dying. Nigga was on the floor like, ain't nothing wrong with you. I'm like, <laughs> Pick me up. You're tripping. Yes, nigga. You ever had the wind knocked out you, though? Hell yeah. Man, it, it looked like you in a spar in sparring, though. Sparring fights? Shit For real? Time, how you man. work through that? that to help me Shit. understand how you work you through that. You gotta stay relaxed. You gotta breathe. What you mean, relax? I mean, you can't breathe. How you can't breathe, 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 nigga? No, you can breathe. You can breathe. You can breathe. You, you, can breathe. breathe. Right. you can't be relaxed. What like happened that. was all of the air got knocked out of you, nigga. Now you got you to, go to get that air back. Yeah. Uh -huh. You need to uh -huh. breathe. Uh -huh. yeah. And he's coming back trying to hit you again. I would have told that nigga, wait. Let me breathe. Yeah, he absolutely right. You can breathe. That shit just hurt. Yeah. Like a motherfucker. motherfucker. Yeah. <laughs> nigga oh, knock man. all your air out. It's like Sonic. When, the, when nigga knock all the rings out. Yeah. You. So what did that mean? Like you when the air get knocks out of you, it's like your lungs trying to grasp. Nah, my bro. It's literally like, that, my nigga. Like your a, air. I got hit. Like I got hit. Like yeah. big nigga. I mean, he was slow too, but he hit. Yeah. Boom. And I don't know why he was playing football with us, but he was probably like 15 and we was like 12. Boom. He hit me. Yeah. Boom, nigga, air, gone. I'm just on the ground, shoulder pads, helmet. They like, <laughs> look at Lil John. I'm like, nigga, I'm dying. He knocked all the air out of you. Out of it. When we was doing football, the coach would pick you up real fast. He would grab you by your shit and pick you yeah, up. Yeah, I think the coach the did that, but I fell back down. Out. Yeah. Like, he tried to get your shit <laughs> He back was like, up. get up. I was like, nigga, stop. The <laughs> <laughs> air is Man, gone. You if you want to see a fight that, you know, Bernard Hopkins and De La Hoya, when he hit De La Hoya ass in the body, yeah, nah, that Hopkins. nigga De La Hoya was like, hey, 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 hey. I was like, nigga, it didn't sound like you casting a spell. My <laughs> nigga, I said, hey. it was over with. That Bernard body Hopkins shot, man, that's, that's one of the most treacherous shots you can catch somebody with. Like, so, what do you, I see Floyd a lot. And I uh, doing the exercise, we hanging off the edge of the the, the ring, and 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 is that for? Yeah, that's for that, that's for your neck. It work your neck out to where like you don't like like knockouts be happening when when like it be like the snap back where you get punched and then like you know, that'll fuck your equilibrium, your whole shit up. Or if you get hit with an uppercut, mm -hmm. snap your head, snap your neck back. So you work your neck to keep it strong. So it's really. The comeback is what's uh -huh, knocked you out. Uh -huh. It's not the actual yeah. punch. Uh -huh. That's why when he get hit, he be like, uh -huh. Okay, mm -hmm. okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So like, what's what's what do you think as a boxer is is the most? If you can put in, you know, make a list of the most important exercises or training to do as a boxer, what do you think those are? Um, Don't put this nigga no plan together, bro. <laughs> <laughs> nah, no, man. He gonna be in the whole time. Of know, this nigga gonna talk up to you. He taught me everything. I know I did. Like, like, I know the sport. Man. This nigga gonna knock his own <laughs> wind out his own self. I know the sport, man, but I just want to get the perspective <laughs> I mean, of somebody at that say, level. I would just say sparring, obviously, that's like the most. You can't beat that because that's just more situational than, yeah. than everything. Like, that's that's damn near like a fight. So right. that, I feel like that's like the most important. But um, shit, just everything because you, you want to just dot your I's and cross your T's. You, you don't never want to be like overly prepared for, you know, do a trillion sit-ups, but you ain't got no endurance. You got you to gotta do your road work. You got to do your sit-ups. Yeah, you got to do, you got to do your strength, strength and conditioning training. You got to do Earl, all that nigga, shit. You, you can't show up. Yeah. I'm not even prepared to throw up. Then I you fuck throw with y'all, man. Y'all niggas yeah. do eight rounds. 
non-stop. A real street fight nigga be talking about three minutes. No, you fought that man for 30 seconds, my boy. And be tired in the month. And be tired for, him, bro. for two fuck. weeks. Bro, when we no. did that shit on Wild and Out, when we was wrestling, my nigga, I was so tired. Nigga, after we me made too. It, I had to sit down. Hi, yeah, I'm done. So, I ain't like, no way in the world. Dog, them we, boxing workouts, them three minutes of just throwing punches and, and moving around. And just keep going. You want to know how long a minute is fighting nigga. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So <laughs> when do you think that you, the, the, your win is now starting to fuck with you once? What round do you start to feel? I, I honestly, my like my gas tank crazy. Like I don't get tired. Like Elbow? I tell you, I don't get tired. Like it's just something I just don't do. When I fight, I don't get tired. Like. I always feel like I can go like five more rounds. Like, well, you think you could afford the 15 yeah, round like, era? Literally, literally, oh, I, feel like I, I got the niggas was doing that. Man, that was Jack Johnson and them niggas was yeah, fighting with the other niggas. They were fighting with them niggas. Them niggas had other niggas on their hands. Them niggas that hold their shit like this, nigga. Even Ali, Ali was fighting 15 rounds. Yeah. Were the rounds shorter or were they still? Like three, three minutes, minutes, three minutes, three minutes. Now we do, yeah, now we do, yeah, now we do three, well, I do the championship fights three 12 minute rounds. Do you ever go down to 10? Would you ever go back down to 10 rounds, or is it no, any scenario? I mean, no, all the, like, the big big fights, the championship fights is all 12. So once you go 12, it's, you don't really it 12 rounds? 12 yeah. rounds. Okay, okay. What's your favorite city to fight in? Do you got one? Vegas. Have, uh, Vegas? Yeah, yeah Vegas. man. Vegas. 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 Beautiful. I got to catch a fight. Oh, I got to be my go, Frank bro. Lucas, man. Me I got to come out there under Frank Lucas. That's, one of, my That's one of my goals to go to a fight, man. My sit. next fight, man. Y'all got to come again. Yeah. 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 Don't I'm there. Everybody. I'm there. I'm talking about. I went to go see Tevin. You know Tevin Frank? Yeah, he's my boy. That's my boy, man. Yeah, I got to come out there. Uh, uh. Hello, Chico Bean here again. January 6th through the 8th, 2023. We pushing this shit out. You ain't got no excuse not to know I'm coming. Improv in Tempe, Arizona. I'll be there for five shows, so get your tickets. And I ain't even gonna read this for long because this shit in January, so you got plenty of time to get your tickets. All right, so you know, I know it's gonna be around tax time. You're gonna be getting your W-2, so think about me when you start to think about what you're gonna spend that money on. January 6th through the 8th, 2023. I will be there. Hey, what's up, man? January the 7th. Look, all my shows are at 8 o'clock. That's how I roll. 8 o'clock, that's where all the freaks come out. But I will be in Charlotte, North Carolina, on January the 7th at 8 o'clock at the Others Auditorium. That shit gonna be hard, because North Carolina love me. I'm telling you, by the time you see this commercial, the ticket's gonna be halfway gone. So you need to go ahead and click the, click right here, wherever this is on the screen. It's on, it's somewhere. It's close by this commercial. Make sure you get those tickets and check me out. Charlotte, I can't wait to get there. Ooh, we going to Bojangles and all that. Bowberry Biscuit. Hello, everybody. My name is Carlos Miller, and I just came to spread a little black love because I hope you having a good day because this is a good day scent that's black love. Since I love you so much, I want to give you my discount code, my personal discount code, and go and get 25% off. L-O-U-S. Kind of look like love if you write it fast. But if you use my code, you'll get an additional 25% off if you go to the Good Day Sense website and buy you some of these dope ass candles. Man, that shit really do smell like black love though. Like after black people been holding hands with some cocoa butter on. That's love. Use my personal discount code so you can get you some of these nice ass candles. And have a good day with a good day scent. 25% off. L-O-U-S. Black love. One of my favorites because I love you. And you're black. Even if you're not black, the code still works. That's the beautiful part about it. It's crazy. I'll see you next time. I forgot. I don't know. I flew there. I think it was Miami. Miami. Okay, yeah, I was there too. I you were there? there? The one he fucking lost yeah, to. I was mad. Because they were saying that he was going to be the next contender to fight Monte yeah. after that. What's crazy, he, the dude that he lost to, I fought that dude next. For real? Yeah. And beat him. Whooped his cool. ass. Well, <laughs> well, <laughs> well. <laughs> Be like that sometimes. So, man. what was your first fight in Vegas? What's the first big fight you my had first in Vegas? Fight, well, I fought when I was in my third fight. I fought in Vegas. I fought uh, on the Pacquiao versus Bradley undercard. So, first yeah, Pacquiao Bradley. Yeah, yeah no, the <clears throat> what they fought three times. Yeah, they fought three times. Yeah, on the third time, the third okay. time. And then um, I headlined in Vegas four fights ago, three fights ago. So to explain the difference between being on the undercard and being the headliner, what's that experience? It's just different. It's, I mean, it's, it's just like a different Wait longer, too. Yeah, you wait longer. You just like, 
everybody there to see you. So I was fighting in the daytime when I was fighting on undercard. It was like fucking 4 p.m. Right, <laughs> right. So do the people be there? I mean, people love yeah. fighting. They be there, but. Shit, barely. Like, my only people who was in there was really like my family. Like, really, like, it wasn't right, nobody yeah. in there. It was a whole empty arena. And then when I fought, it was filled up. When I, when I headlined, it was filled up and it was all for me. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Mm -hmm. Were you 23? How long you been a professional yeah, fighter? damn. Uh, I think I've been pro now. It's like seven years. That's great. Yeah. You been you pro still got the same years. love. You was, you was pro at 16? 17, 17. 17. Yeah. Yeah. Saying you still got the same love? What? After big, course, like, you know, after you, more. like, See, you chased the dream so long, then yeah. you, you like, See, you I living it, it now. more because, like, now I'm, like, receiving the fruits of it. Like, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. I was doing this shit for free for so long, like, doing it for nothing. Right. You know what I'm saying? Waiting for me to finally, you know, re receive, like, some money. Like, I was, I didn't start making money until my 19th fight. Bef before that, I was, I was fighting for free, just, like, trusting in the, the process on some right. independent shit. So <clears throat> now it's like, damn, this shit finally paying off. Like. I what made it change? You was going what out made of Mexico it change? I mean, doing because, a lot of fights too, right? Yeah, yeah, I was fighting. I was fighting in Mexico, did the, like all the way to like my 19th fight. Well, off and on, but the majority of the time, that after my 19th fight, I didn't go back to Mexico. Why did you go down there? Uh, just to just because I was so young, I couldn't fight in the U.S. They wouldn't they wouldn't grant me a boxing license because I was 17 years old. So they didn't want to like you know me to get hurt and then me sue them. Mexico, and whatever, like, whatever. come on. Mexico, let me let me come over there. You was fighting grown men in Mexico. Yeah, I was fighting grown men with. 40, 50 fights. Oh, wait a These niggas at the end of 20 time, rounds time, hitting time. cigarettes and shit. 40, 50. <laughs> the young boy's good, man. <laughs> <laughs> I can't do nothing with them. How the fuck you smoking a cigarette with a boxing glove? The young boy's good, man. I put the cigarette on. So how the hell, so you 17, Fine nigga that's grown? Yeah, yeah, I was 17, fighting grown ass man. Well, grown men is in the ring with a, a kid talking about some, I'm about to knock your ass. You know what that means? No, you're not. Your, no, you know you're that not. your confidence when you're 17 no, you're and you beating the shit out grown men? <laughs> what? Nigga don't give a fuck. What a nigga say to you? Pay your bills. Fuck bitch. you, sir. <laughs> <laughs> Be disrespectfully disrespectful. Fuck what? you, sir. That's hilarious. Okay, <laughs> I, 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 I gotta ask you a question because I always ask everybody we got. Now, y'all yeah, know you love boxing. Mm -hmm. What is a underlying talent that you really like to do. You'll be surprised. Shit. Some shit you be going on, you can't wait to take the gloves off. Be like, can't wait to plant these flowers. Like, what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, I don't know, that's crazy. Nigga um, love tulips. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no, I gotta think about that one. I can't really say right so now. So just boxing, just every, that's just your, your shit. Yeah, I can't say I got like another nigga been talent. doing that shit since like, he was nine. Like, nigga. like literally, I seven since I was seven. seven. Like, like when I say like I really was like a kid that really like I ain't you golfed yourself in the sport since the seventh grade. I dropped out in the seventh grade to box. Like I literally you dropped been, out of school in the seventh in grade, the seventh to, grade box. to box. Yeah, because like I knew what I wanted to do. I put my all into it. It was no so like. So did your ugly. dad? He was like, yeah, yeah fuck them grades, <laughs> nigga. Come on, we going to Mexico. Yeah. Let's do it. Beat <laughs> <laughs> the shit out of some niggas. Come on, baby. <laughs> The rest of the motherfuckers can get their grades right. We grades so gonna you, beat the dog shit out of It wasn't no plan B. It wasn't like nothing. Like this is like something that I knew. Like I had to make it. I was gonna make it. Like I tr really trusted in my talent. So like it's really like all I know for real. So the highest education you got is seventh grade. <laughs> that ain't the limit on his education. I was doing. I was That's doing. That's the limit. I mean, I didn't yeah, want to make yeah. sure because my boy is in the business. So I don't want. I want to make sure he getting all his money. No, for sure. Oh, yeah. But but. Just cause what well, school don't you don't like school don't learn business you don't gotta school, go to school right. to, to to understand. I knew what I wanted to do, so I knew right. I knew what I had to learn to be successful and what I wanted right. to do. I don't need to go learn about some fucking geography and some shit that I don't. What, what, I, what I need to learn that for? That ain't dumb nigga just clap like a motherfucker. I don't know that shit either. Stupid nigga just clap like a motherfucker. Yeah, man. But the difference is, he learned about geography because he go all around the goddamn globe with his boxing shit. Fact. So he gonna know more yeah. geography than your ass could ever learn. So then we just got on his ass for not finishing school and taking it seriously. He finished though. That my young nigga, he all right. Yeah, no, but, so. So I, I, I knew what I had to learn to, to be successful in this. Right. 
Man, that's important, man. So moving forward, like, what do you see? What do you, do you have a goal like that you want to see yourself? Is this like an ultimate goal within the sport that you want for yourself? Even yeah, what else you want yeah, from, I mean, from I the boxing be, world? I want to be. I want to be a, a legend in the sport. I want to be an all-time great. You know Pop what it. I'm saying? Pop it. So I want my name to be remembered, you know, longer than I ever will. So, uh, I mean, that's that's. You made a hell of a name name for yourself in a short amount of time, bro. Oh, oh, we got seven more years of kicking ass. <laughs> No cap. Sometimes you gotta check your own hype, nigga. You definitely yeah, got sure. one. Like, you. Your name comes up. Thank you. So one when of they the got, top contenders. When they got the different, like, they got the, what it is, the IBF, yeah. WBA, WBC. WBA, WBC. Okay. got all that shit out. Now, when you are a, a, a champion in all those, what's the what's, what's, what's the difference between being a champion in one and then being undisputed, like, in all, all the unified? All right, so, like, so, like, you be the champion one, or you could be unified. It's like where you be having like two, right. three. But when you undisputed, you got everything. You got all the belts. Like if anybody want to be a champion, they gotta go th go through you. Oh, time 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 they got to go through history. you, as in the person who has the, all the belts. Yeah, so if you, so you, 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 you gotta beat me, yeah. if you now question. be a champion in my weight, you gotta go through me. Now question, I mean, like, you gotta, you gotta if you're the undisputed me. champ, let's say you're the undisputed, or let's say somebody else is the undisputed champ and you beat them, does that make you now the undisputed yeah. champ? You yeah. take so all his belts. You get all the belts. Yes, but it's very rare that you actually could fight one person for all the belts. Normally, you gotta pick up a belt here, pick up a belt there. Right. Pick up two belts there, and right. then you be, that, that's how you become. Yeah, I'm trying to think it's how many people that, have been somebody, undisputed except Mike it's, Tyson. It's, it's been eight. I was eight. eight. I was eighth. Yeah. Ooh, and you was eighth. I think Adrian Bronner won too. Huh? I think Adrian Bronner no, won no, too. He no, not not no, all it's of only them. Eight. No, no. No. It's only been eight <laughs> in the history of the sport. All due respect, no. It's only been eight in the history of the sport. I think I know Mike Tyson was undisputed. That's that's fucked up. Devin Haney was undisputed. Floyd was undisputed. Floyd was never undisputed. Floyd was never undisputed. Was never what, undisputed. What, what belt didn't he? What it was it? I mean, yeah, he had you know a lot of different belts at one time, but he never had all the belts in the weight class. Zab, Zab, Drew. What was makes undisputed. you undisputed? Zab was undisputed. Having yeah, all the belts in all your weight class. Yes. All four of them. Yes. All four of them. All four of them. So it, it, okay. So god damn it, you got all four of these belts. So what if I just got one? I can't be the champion in one. No, 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 no. no. You, 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 you're the champion in them three, but you're not undisputed. You just unified. Mm. Yeah. In order for you to be the undisputed, you got to fight the undisputed. You need all you gotta have, no, you got to have all four. No matter, you no matter if you pick up one here, say you fight one, him for one, right. him for one, me for one, and him for the last one. You, I'm going to beat you your ass. Up. You ain't getting okay, money. But, 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 but what if he got one? No. The line, I'm fighting dirty as a motherfucker. But, but, but what if he got one, but he want to fight you to be undisputed? Can he? You're yeah. not understanding yeah, the what concept. You mean? So if I, if I got three, he got one? Yeah. yeah so if you got three... You gotta beat him and get all of them, and then you undisputed. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. That's the only way you can be undisputed. You yeah. gotta go get all of them. You gotta get all of them. That's the only way you gotta have Whoever got it. Yeah, so yes. whoever got them, it could be four niggas that got the four belts, or it could be <laughs> one nigga that now, got them. Now, I'm gonna two yeah. motherfuckers to beat IBF at the same time. Can that happen? Not the same no, weight class. No, no. Oh, okay. yeah, but like they got like little minor titles, but actually the champ, no. Okay, yeah, and then okay. you got that's how motherfuckers be the you know getting ducked like a nigga duck you like you they know what I'm saying like he's somebody shit. that right. that has been ducked a lot in this kid. A lot of motherfuckers duck that man. Scare him, I know you. Know yeah. yeah. I will too. Haney won't you? Nah, tell him call man, him back. They, they <laughs> ducked, you know what I mean? Oh, this nigga <laughs> trying to be undisputed. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> Some motherfuckers are turning the fight down just so you won't get all the belts. No, for now, sure. Yeah. Do, you ever, do you ever go into a fight? Has, well, has it has it ever been a fight that you went into like I oh, own this one? This one's gonna be one. I'm I'm got I gotta make sure that I'm right on this particular one. If yeah, you had that um, opponent yet, I would say my first fight when I went to Australia to fight for undisputed. Um, I just was fight far away from home. They wasn't letting my dad come in. He was my coach. Mm. They was it was just like what, they was fucking with him. Yeah, at the yeah, yeah, yeah. He yeah, made it right at the yeah, right at the end. Yep, yep. They was fucking with him. The um. The, the customs and whatever they would, the government wasn't letting them in, so it just was like everything was just like like fucked up. It was like damn, like is this the right decision? Enjoy your daddy should, should I at go the without board. my team? Like my cut man wasn't there, but I was like fuck it. I, you went out there by yourself and came home with it. Came home with it. Fuck you talking about? <laughs> yeah. Drop me off. Like, that's what you gotta leave me when they when they try to disrupt your process, you gotta whoop everybody ass and be like, who else wanna fight while I'm over here? Right. <laughs> and while I'm by myself, nigga. Don't talk shit when I get on this plane. Don't talk shit when I get on this 
some other fun. Don't say shit when I get on this plane. <laughs> After the fight, I would have been talking shit like Boosie. And I got my shirt off like my dad. The fuck you talking about? <laughs> I would have the fuck up out of here before I started talking shit. It wasn't about it, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, Australia. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Right. You don't want to get bro. bit by no hey, what you say, mate? Yeah. <laughs> Let's <laughs> put another nigger on the ball, baby. Fuck it. I it out. Done. You got to your ass. No cap. Fuck around, tell you to a blooming onion over that motherfucker. That's hilarious. Shit, straight gonna watch this shit and be like, it's not like that. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, it's not real, like that, it, it was cool, though. It was cool, but I, had a, I really had a good time over there in Australia. That's why I really went back twice. Because, yeah. uh, Them but, Australian yeah. hoes hit different. <laughs> I ain't hit one yet. I heard they love a nigga, they though. Cool. Huh. I done seen a plenty of them. You been in Australia? Huh. I haven't been. Be I had the pussy in America. <laughs> <laughs> really? Yeah. She brought the pussy here. Yeah. You brought the pussy here, Mike? Seen her. Yeah. Pussy here, Mike. You should have seen her. She was so her. big. Did you see her? <laughs> it was round. <laughs> Cranky, Mike. It was like wrestling a crook. <laughs> yeah, Mike. <laughs> Put it down. You, you put it down. Get up put on that big shit. I was all in a kangaroo pouch. You know what I mean? Yeah. Fuck your name, mate. That nigga, that's too. Like, so uh, you know, you just you just put out a beautiful showing, man. You know, I watched the fight. You know, what I mean, you did the shit in the fight. I mean, the whole fight. Uh, so, what do you want to do next? Is there anybody you got on the, in yeah, the in um, radar? Or we we gonna go see what Lomachenko talking about? Ooh. Um, yeah, you know he got a fight coming up. Okay. And uh, we gonna go watch him. And uh, I tell who that hoes, that's my nickname. Oh, Lomachenko. Lomachenko. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it was a time when they was looking at him like he was the greatest shit ever. Yeah, they yeah. was looking at him like that, but um. Yeah, it changed. But what happened? It changed. She changed. changed. She changed. 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 Real quick. Changed. Real quick. Oh, yeah. You know what I mean? He's not the guy anymore. So yeah, um, right. But you know, it, it, I will show him that you know if we make the fight happen, that he's not that guy anymore. That his time came. <clears> right? And um, yeah. 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 Oh, man. And hey, we talking about boxing. I want to give a shout out to Clarissa Shields. She just oh, won. Sure. Sure. Oh, yeah. She did that shit. She did that shit. She did She got on our show when we was in, uh, what was we at? Grand Rapids? Grand Rapids. Yeah, uh -huh. she, caught, she come talk hey, with listen, us. Uh, uh, one of the greatest knockouts you will ever see is Ann Wolf when she knocked out that big white with, with, with them uh -huh. American shorts on. Yeah. Woo! You know you get your ass when your shit ain't even braided. Right? <laughs> Knock the braid out, Knock the braid out, yeah. But you Damn. ever seen that Ann Wolf knockout? Yes, I did. Oh, my God. I'm trying to forget it, but y'all brought it right back to me. <laughs> <laughs> no cap. Goodness gracious, man. And it, it, as a fan of the sport, who is somebody that you like felt like had a bunch of potential that, that didn't get to where you felt like they could have been? I feel like A.B. Like, A.B. Yeah. A.B. Yeah. had crazy potential. Like, yeah. he was the next... Fucking like big thing. I'm Next Floyd, that's Floyd, what they was Floyd, touting him to like, be. Yeah, it be like he could have made so much money in the sport of boxing, but I mean he let the outside shit, you know, get to him. But hopefully he could he could bounce that's back. My nigga you know too, man. I, I want the best for him too. Yeah, yeah. I, I want him. I want him to come back. I message him all the time, like, please, man, get back on your shit. You deserve to be up here at the top. I hate hey, January 28th at 7 o'clock this time, J.O.N., we're going to San Diego. We'll be at the Balboa Theater, the Rocky Balboa. That's what I'm calling it. Make sure you grab those tickets and come check it out. At the end of the day, man, the tour coming to your city. Don't worry about nothing. Hey, man, English Major Merch live right now. ClaytonEnglish.com. Go get you some, man. We got all the HBCU-inspired colorways, man. Go get it. You know what it is. Let's go. Hey, you already know what it is, man. What's that time? Man. I'm going back home, y'all. Hey, man, Two ATL. Times. Twice. 28, 29? Where we at? What? ATL. The Gateway Center Arena what? at College Park. College Park. College Park. College Park. College Park. College Park, Atlanta. You know, they was College Park, College Park. College Park, College Park. College Park. We're going to get a ghetto legend. We're trying to get a legend. We're going to discuss all that. We're going to discuss what's real Atlanta and what's, you know, Atlanta, you know, all that. I can't wait to tell a nigga where you from. Yeah, you know, we're trying to get old legends, the unfinished business tour. We back in the A. Come on, man. 85southshow.com. That's www.85southshow.com. Right Atlanta. We are coming oh, crazy. December 28th and 29th. It's after Christmas, so you can wear all your new shit, your gifts. Going out with a bang. Bro. Going out with a bang. We're bringing the new year crazy. in. Crazy. Where it all began. You know what I mean? From mm. Smith's Old Bar to the Gateway Center Arena in College Park. So Wednesday make sure you get your tickets. And Thursday. Wednesday and Thursday. Not playing. Hey, you, Whole city. You're going to be all Look. work them days anyway, because it's almost New Year. So you know how you say something. Spend your up Christmas check. You know? Come on, see what Spend that Christmas money, nigga. You already know. Get it out the envelope. 
<laughs> out the car. Buy a ticket. Buy a ticket. No cap. That's no what speed. it is. Get the app too. And two days. We doing two days. So if you miss the first day, you, you ain't gonna miss the second one. Right. Oh, you, you gonna hear about it. <laughs> Ghetto legendary. Kylie Paul. And Bubba Paul. ATL. Booty, 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 rock. ATL. I found you. Andre Ward retired when he did, man. I was like, damn, Slim, yeah. like, why you, I mean, you never know. Yeah, I you know wanted to see saying? Andre Ward, you know what I'm saying, do a little bit yeah, more. Yeah, I wanted to sport. see him fight some more, too. He still had a lot left in the tank, but you never know what he was going through. Like, you know what I'm saying? We ain't in there taking the punches for him, so right, we don't know exactly. what, what, how he feeling or what's, what's going on, so you can't knock him for retiring. What's the, uh, what's the guy um, who got hit? And he ended up being like paralyzed. He was a, he was a, a dark yeah, shit. Pritchard, I, 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 what's his name? Pritchard. Oh, he was a name? great contender. Pritchard, I'm talking about. Co Cone, Cone. What's his name? What was his what name? You, you, I, it's on YouTube. Like he was a, a great contender, but he got hit at the end of the fight and then he yeah. fell. Yeah, his name like Pritchard something. Pritchard. Like, yeah. did that ever occur Ooh, to you? Shit. Like, you know how dangerous the sport is. Yeah, every I mean, time you go you go into the ring. No, nah, I don't really think about that to be honest. Like, I know how I know how dangerous it is, but. Shit, I've been doing it for so long. That's all. That's all I know. So, I'd rather, you know, what I'm saying, some shit go bad. I'd rather be doing it, some, doing it, with, you know, with something that I love than bullshit. You know, right, right. Bullshit. Right. Because they could be out at the club, and some something happened. They could be out fucking around. Something happened. But this is something I truly, truly love to do. So, something gonna happen. At least some doing, 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 doing what you love. love. Right. I gotta ask this because everybody wanna know, man. You know, it takes a lot of discipline to do this shit. Yeah. How you stay off the pussy? <laughs> I mean, yeah. You got to be strong in the ring. That shit will make you know. loose, lady. Shit. Oh, no, I get to put it on. So, 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 so you were bad, you, you believe that you were yeah. bad, bad, that, yeah. that's real. For sure, no, that's, that's, that's hell no, you can't get no pussy for like, you, boy. It's, like, a lot of people say it's a mental thing, but I believe that, you know, I, I feel the difference when I, when I go fuck and, and go train or go spar or whatever, than when I don't. <laughs> so, <laughs> I so, bet you do, this yeah. <laughs> <laughs> One second, bro. Because <laughs> yeah, you probably be like, what I'm mad about? Right. Why am I fighting? I just got some pussy. <laughs> okay. How can you be angry right out some pussy? Boom, bitch. <laughs> no care. Yeah, it's not, but I just feel that shit in my legs. Like, you know, I feel like my legs do be getting like a little weaker. So, you know, I, I do sacrifice and, you know, be disciplined. So what's yeah, the strong? Yeah, shit lined up right after the fight. In the locker room. What? Hey, cut these motherfuckers off, oh, sure. nigga. My <laughs> shit's still wrapped. I mean, stay right here. <laughs> so, what's, so what's like the most, like, even though you gotta have the discipline, what are you making sure that's intact before, of course you know you got your jab on right, like you said, you want your legs right. What has to be intact in order for you to be there? Nigga, everything. What you, yeah, like, what you mean? Like, like you said, like you we, say, we, fuck it, your legs. We, that's what we do, like, the whole training camp. We just, you know, preparing to be perfect on that one night. So right. shit, we try to make sure everything is on point. Like, ain't nothing that, like, we just be like trying to make sure everything. I don't know, I can't really say like, the dieting. I'm gonna ask you about that. Yeah. What part of that do you hate? Like, oh my the... god, all of it. Like, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's, that's the worst that's part about it. boxing. All the time I say that, like, that's the worst What's part. What's the crazy like, diet like, y'all be having? Like, I could discipline from sex. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like all that shit is just moderation. Like, you right. know, like, too much of anything could kill you. So, right. you know what I'm right. saying? I feel like, but when the dieting, oh my god, that shit. What's kills. the worst diet you ever had? I mean, man, all of be, them. yeah, all that shit be hard. You know what I'm saying? When you cutting weight, you be hungry, you be fucking craving sweets and craving fried foods and pizza. And what can you eat? Shit. What can't you uh, eat? I, fish, grilled fish, okay. like just hella fish and chicken, <laughs> yeah. chicken. But it's like if the food don't be nasty, but you just be tired of it. Like, man, yeah. I'm trying to go eat some French fries. I'm trying yeah, to go. Some I need some Doritos. They got that American right. Deli yeah. cup. Yeah. 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 Myself. Man, for real. Like, that's the part of it that I know just I couldn't imagine, man, just the the work in the part of it, because you love the sport, but that diet, like and you gotta think, like, you know, like once you make it to a certain level, you eating at the best restaurants in the world. You going right, to right. the you getting the best dishes, the best food, whenever you feel like it, to where you gotta just 
one day, all right, about to fight, about to sign this contract eight weeks out, I gotta cut all that shit out and go drink a gallon of water a fucking day and eat some, drink some smoothies and shit. You're like, you at 165 oh and you need to make 135. Right. Yeah, for sure. No, Nigga. Uh, yeah. So no, is it ever a time where it's more than eight weeks that you do, is, it, do, is the higher the tier of fight? You give yourself more time, or is it always an eight-week window? Yeah, I mean, that's like the, the ideal time is eight weeks of, like, just strict, you, you just lock all the way in. But sometimes, you know, we, we know we fighting. Well, nine times out of ten, we know we fighting, like, ten to eleven weeks before. before. So we, you know what I'm saying, we start training and shit. But like two months. To be, uh, to be eight weeks is when you just lock all the way in. Who run your camp for you? Uh, my dad. Yeah. But I mean, uh, I got a team. I got a team, in your I camp, yeah. team, but, you know, I got my dad. My uh, my brother, my older brother, uh, and I got a bunch of coaches. Got a nutritionist. I got the whole fucking stable of you know what I'm saying people yeah. that just help for for me to be perfect for that one night. I want to ask you who you got on your recovery team, like masseuses yeah, and shit thing. like that. Uh, oh, oh yeah, I, I got a, I got a uh, a girl who like stretches me out and you know what I'm saying make sure all my shit, my muscles, everything is loose and all that. But yeah. You gotta, you gotta take care of your body, man. man that's, that's, that's the key, because no fight you ever go in where you, like, you just 100%. So mm -hmm. you try to be, and you try to be 100%, but it just, you train it so hard every day that you gotta, you're gonna get hurt, you're gonna get injured, but you gotta have somebody that's, that's there to, you know what I'm saying, do the ice baths and, you know, massage you and, you know, get the knots out and the kinks and all that shit. Man, what advice that, you got I'm to the train to the, like the next eight weeks, nigga? What I'm advice you got like to I'm the next up and comers, <laughs> man? Shit, man, just coming this bitch looking man. like Devin, nigga. Like, what the fuck you done done, nigga? <laughs> 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 just make sure you work on the back, man. I'm telling you, I ain't gonna do the diet. I gotta do all the workout. Don't forget your back. You gonna be eating baked chicken? I'm gonna be a papa dog. No, I don't eat baked chicken. I don't eat chicken, so I'm gonna go straight with the fish. But you know what I mean? I just like the challenge of it. That's why I love the sport of boxing so much because the mental, the mental challenge of it is it just makes you something different, man. You know what I mean? I feel like that too. Like, it's good. like I said, moderation is good to just be able to like, you know what I'm saying? Like, just fucking like get away from that shit. Like get away from all like the partying, the clubbing, the everything. Like just to mental. yeah, you gotta have a strong mental. And I feel, I'm, I'm I'm happy that like I'm that I'm able to do that. Just to cut everything off and say, yeah. all right, now it's time to lock in. Yeah, that's the only thing. I got that great same dish. shit. I just, it's just the food, nigga. That's the hardest part, <laughs> that diet. That's why I asked, like, cause you be, you know, we do shit like this, you know, our job don't start till 8 p.m. Yeah. with being, you know, entertainers and uh -huh. comedians uh -huh. and shit. And right. you get out the, off the show, and you looking around, they go some friends, fuck it. And you know yeah. what I mean? The fact that you got to train yourself not to do that, yeah. that's the hardest Especially shit in the world. Especially when everybody, you, you see people around you, they eating, they, Oh, nah, you know fuck that. Get yeah. the fuck from around me. That's <laughs> the, that ain't no way, bro. But get you your bitch. I'm cursing niggas the fuck. You get your bitch that. ass you out of here with that burger. Fuck, nigga. <laughs> you know what I mean? That shit. But you nah. can't do that because at the end of the day, it's, 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 it's your dream and your goal, so you Next. should be able to, you know what I'm saying, discipline yourself and... Nah, That ain't they, nigga, that ain't they dream, that ain't they right. goal. How can you, you gain weight? I got fat metabolism. But I, my body go into starvation mode. Like, I go from I go from cutting weight, starving, to everything that I'm craving, I'm eating, eating so my body hold on to it. Mm. So I, I can gain weight easy. When, so what did you do the night before when you came out with the 50 cent, the skinny, this, the, I mean, I'm talking about that. <laughs> 50 cent from that movie. 50 cent from that movie, bro. You, I, when I seen you, I was like, bro, what the fuck happened? <laughs> nigga, your jawline was like, nigga, I'm like, yo. And you was just, uh, uh, I'm like, nah, man. I ain't What's think that's really real. Nah, nigga, because you got to understand it. It's in your face. I swear, I didn't think I looked that bad. Bro, we ain't used to seeing you. You ain't look bad. Way, you just, they put your head on my body. <laughs> The closest I seen to it was in the UFC when Conor had Conor that. McGregor, it was not that bad. When he was, yeah, it was not that bad. No, I ain't gonna say it was that bad. But maybe it's the way you go from. You, you can see your heartbeat. Yeah, yeah. I mean, what the fuck? Uh, you you lost like, weight, my boy. Like, you lost weight, my boy. What the fuck, man? I'm like, nigga, you look like you was great kickbox. I'm like, nah. You was eating number kill and spinach. So what did you eat that night, like, to read to get back up to where? 
Like, did you have something specific? I can't tell y'all that. No, oh, it's a oh, secret, secret, secret song. Right. Right. That's a, yeah, that's right. true. Oh, that's 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 I need, I need, I need, whatever it is, tell me. But you gotta do that first. I don't know. You gotta cut weight first. I'm already cut. No, you gotta cut weight to gain it back. Yeah, exactly. Nigga, I'm cut. You gotta starve, you gotta starve yourself. See? No, you don't fly. Don't do that. I'm already starving right now. You gonna look like the crib keeper. You starve yourself. Listen to the problem. I wait, I wait. Okay, before I had my first child. No, 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 wait. Before you had your first child. Nigga, you sound like a woman. Before I had my first child. This nigga. Before I had my first child. Before I had my first child. Before I had my first child. Because I got it to the truth. I got it to the truth. This nigga got baby weight. Listen. Before I pick up the baby weight. Listen, I swear that thing. Before I had my first child, bro. 155. When I had my first child, bro, I cannot get over like 144. I may get back into 143, but I'm like 135. Soaking wet. Easy. What? Easy. How tall is you? Six feet. Shit. 135. Six feet, 135. That's like a rubber system, nigga. I eat everything. I eat everything. I eat everything. I eat everything. That nigga went through the keyhole. That nigga came in the house through the keyhole. I can't keep no more. That's the nigga from Street Fighter. Six foot one, 115. But if I don't work out, I don't do nothing. I lose all this shit. Two days, gone. If I work out a week straight, you will see the tone up. If I two days, if I don't do nothing, and, yeah, I, feel like I, I be working out so much that I be hungry. Like you know what I'm saying? My body just be craving that shit. Right. Yeah. Like, but you, you probably watch, gotta eat all that. You probably your calorie intake probably yeah crazier because you yeah For output. Sure. You For doing sure. more than. For do you sure. keep a per, do you have a personal chef all the time or just no, doing no, fights? No, only, only when I go into training. I can't do. I can't do it. <laughs> I, can't, I can't do it. I can't do it. Right. Fuck all that asparagus and shit. I don't fuck that. Like, yeah, I was I'll asking you what. What advice you give to the up and coming fighters, man? Yeah, um, I mean, just stay down. I remember when I was just like them, watching, you know, waiting on my on, on, on my time to come. You know what I'm saying? I stayed down, stayed disciplined, stayed watching the great, studying the great, studying what they did, their mannerism, and all that shit. And uh, it finally paid off. So uh, just stay down, and you know, one day you're going your, your turn will come. Young legend, oh. 23, man. Undefeated. Undefeated. We coming to the next fight, man. We got sure. out of you yeah. know, yeah. Since yeah. you know, hey, you, you know, Cat got a question. Yeah, what we got? I, I want to ask you about two fighters. One uh -huh. is uh, Marcos Magnon. Yeah. What about? Where the hell is he? Yeah, um... God damn, I, mean, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, Marcus Maidana was a, a, a hell of a champion. Where he go? Tough fighter. Uh, I don't know where he at now, but... Yeah, he's... Yeah, he was I mean, going, yeah. He yeah. my dick, man! Yeah, yeah. yeah. He said that. He said that shit for sure. He did say that. Yeah. Yeah. Nah, he put up a hell of a fight with uh, Floyd, but I don't know where yeah. he at. Yeah, you know, know we had spending that money he made off that thing. That motherfucker's <laughs> in goddamn Portugal right now, living. <laughs> Oh yeah, Fondora, Fondora, yeah, yeah, yeah. Sebastian Fondora, yeah. Ooh. Yeah, he a beast. He a beast. Yeah. yeah. Nah, I was coming up with another name, nigga. Uh <laughs> 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 What's my boy uh the middleweight? He was a he, No, not Charlo them, the twins is crazy too. Mm -hmm. The other the, the young cat, man. The young cat, the middleweight, man, he be he be whooping ass too. Fuck you. But just because he said that, you see it. And it's still going to be there. I ain't cutting my shit. That's right. January 3rd, there's some niggas in the background looking. Say something, nigga. What you got to say? I see you back there, dirty, hoodie ass nigga. Say something. Say something. I'm on all you niggas. Any niggas say these niggas walk around the corner to see my shit. Fuck all these niggas. You see it? Oh, nigga, fuck you, nigga. You got on a genie cap, nigga, with nothing up under it. Nigga, cash a spell. Yeah, fuck all these niggas. January 13th, 2023, nigga. It's going down. Nigga, fuck it. I'm keeping my shit off just for these niggas. Let's read the rest of them. January 14th, Chico Bean back again. MGM Center Stage in Northfield in Cleveland, Ohio. I be there. That's right. Me and my ball spot. Fuck these niggas. Next. January 20th through the 22nd, 2023, Funny Bone in Virginia Beach. Five shows right there. You see it? All right. Next. 
Fuck these niggas still, they still looking at me. January 27th through the 29th, I'll be at the Improv in Ontario, California for five shows. Yeah, nigga, I got work. I ain't got no hand in front, but I got a job, bitch ass nigga. Hey, what's up everybody? January the 27th, I'm telling you, eight o'clock, that's my time. Celebrity Theater, I will be in Phoenix in January. Will it be hot yet? Oh, it's gonna be nice then. Check this out, man. Make sure you get those tickets and pull up on me, cause at the end of the day, you already know, man. Grab those tickets. Come fuck with me. Celebrity Theater, Phoenix, Arizona. January 27th, 8 o'clock. That's enough information, right? You should get the, you get the picture. What's up, y'all? It's your girl, Lex T. And it's your girl, Dre and Nicole. And I got some really good news for y'all. Yes, period, y'all. We are about to revamp our whole Patreon. Yes. We got so much new shit coming soon for y'all. Like, we about to be doing challenges. We about to be doing vlogs. Mm -hmm. We really about to be dropping a lot of exclusive content for y'all. So if one episode a week is not enough, y'all about to get some more content on Patreon. Yes, y'all be saying, oh, make the episodes longer. I need twice a week. Well, this is your opportunity to see us twice a week. And also, you kind of get, you're going to get a look into our lives. Mm -hmm. Know what's on a personal level. Mm -hmm. So make sure y'all sign up at patreon.com backslash Poor mind, sign up today. There's different tiers. So if you want audio only, you can just listen. If you want video and audio, we have that too. And also we have a top, top tier where you get exclusive access to merch, shows, all that good mm -hmm. stuff. So go to patreon.com backslash poor minds and sign up today. Period. Ooh, middleweight. Middleweight? Yeah, middleweight. Yeah, middleweight. Right, what do you look like? Young nigga. He be cheesing all the time. I don't know the nigga name, man. Who be know? You know Boston Cat? Yeah, I don't know that. The middle don't know way. The middle young, way. Young, young guy. Nothing to the nigga fucking hell. You, you about to say, you know the and nigga be all the good niggas. Wear gloves and smile, man. That nigga got teeth. <laughs> the nigga, he a new young cat, man. The new young, young cat. Young young I don't know, man. Nigga be wearing another fucking hat. You're not talking about Gus Crawford. You're not talking about Earl Spence. No, bro. What are you gonna look him up on for? You ain't gonna look him up right now. Nigga with gloves. I don't think he's a middleweight. Whoever you're talking about, he can't be not a middleweight. Yeah, you might got. You might be a different class. Why did I bet who? He no. young, man. The young nigga, man. He black, right? Yeah, he black, man. He be cheesy. He just, he just won too. Shakur, you talking about Shakur? Shakur, Shakur man. Shakur Stevens and not no middleweight. Yes, he is. What he is? He's light. We could have sworn he was middleweight. I said Shakur Stevens and at the beginning. Over oh, there. Yeah, Shakur Stevens in the light. I just be watching the nigga. I don't even know that name. He just raw. He raw. No, he raw. You beat him already. We beat him already. He undefeated. He not your class. He undefeated too. No, he my weed now. Oh, he is your class now? Yeah, you know, okay. Oh, that's why I said middleweight because he went up. You know, Shakur said he'll fight whoever. See, I you know be on the right path. There's, there's a lot street. of young niggas. There's a lot of young fighters that I, this, the, the sport of boxing has is, is got a bright future with y'all boys, man, because there's so many Shakur fights too, man. that could be made. You know, Javante, you know, is a dog. You know what I mean? Ryan Garcia, uh, you know, I, all of y'all, man. You no, and the, the sport Shakur of boxing is, 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 is good hands with y'all, man. There's a lot of young talent. Young talent. Do you see yourself? I think when people talk about boxing not being in there, Good place. my weight class, so yeah, definitely. That's why I said middleweight, cause he gained, he went up. Yeah. Well, I think, I think that. But he only went up five pounds, so. I didn't know he went up. I just yeah. thought he went up, like, up, up. Like. <laughs> yeah. I think when people talk about boxing falling off is that heavyweight. Yeah. Cause I think y'all kicking ass, and, yeah. and it's not really and just that, heavyweight. That's some of the best fight, huh? It's not really just heavyweights out there going well, crazy. Well, no, no, that's what I'm saying. We don't have like they we just said, Deontay to, Wilder, the only the U.S. Yeah. heavyweight that yeah. we really got sure, repping, sure. and and that's what I think. The masses be looking at. Right. Because they but want I that think, like you glory. said, this is some of the. This is prime. Right. Yeah, no, for sure. Prime and we right all now. young. Like the, yeah. the, the top niggas is all young. All under 25. Right. You ain't never seen nothing like this. Like, right. oh, never. the young niggas is. is, is, is it's right the one. Right. The young generation, the old niggas is like, the, they they going out. Right. Like, the only, like, older, like, like, Bud and Earl is like they like OGs in the sport and now. They only That's crazy. Yeah, 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 right, 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 right. They, they early thirties. So, right. You know, How you feel about Charlo and them, the twins? Yeah, no, I fuck. I fuck with both of them. I like them. Crazy. I like them. Yeah, I like them. They go, but okay. How you feel about motherfuckers that go crazy but don't get talked about enough? Like they ain't the top contenders. Mark. That's just, yeah, that's just boxing. It's, it's, it's that happened in every sport. That's football. It's niggas in football. That's the truth. That don't get talked about enough. That's Basketball. Right. No, nah, that's just what is it's, that's just anything, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's niggas will be really, really like the truth and whatever it is. But yeah, like comedy. 
Yeah, same thing with comedy. Hell I'm yeah. Saying, this shit. Niggas be raw as hell in yeah, comedy, yeah. bro. They act like. And then, and then, <laughs> and then it'd be somebody at the top who read, who you like, he really not even like that. That's bro. what I be telling yeah. these niggas really daily. Like yeah. These niggas ain't yeah. even like that. Yeah. yeah. I just, I just that, that, am I am I am I confused? Or didn't you did you follow Spa Floyd? Yeah, Spa Floyd. Yeah. How was that? It was good work. It was good work. Mm -hmm. uh, was it I like RP? Were you like okay? What? I'm gonna go in, but this like this OG gym. Man, that shit was like crazy. I couldn't believe it. First round, I don't want nobody other round. The first round, yeah, what was going through like your head? You look across the first room. round. You, you look like, across the ring and that nigga Floyd over that motherfucker. Yeah, when I first got in there, I was like. Like, it, just, it didn't even matter no more, like, who was in there, like, Floyd, whoever. I just started to do me like it was, like it was anybody else. You liked your showing? Yeah, nah, yeah, for sure. He I mean, really that work. He I really liked Floyd. that. Yeah, hell yeah. And I appreciate Floyd for even giving me that opportunity. That's what I'm to saying. Even, you Facts. know what I'm saying? Like, that's like, that's like being able to play Michael Jordan one-on-one. -on -one. Right. Like, you know what I'm saying? Facts. I'm able to maybe tell, yeah. like, that's a story I'm able to tell people Whatever, about. Like, right. you know was, it, was it set up or was it like, hey, you want to fight Floyd? He said, come on. No, nah, it was. It was, it was, it was it, that, that, that's kind of how it was. I was in the gym one day. Floyd was in there. And he was like, Floyd was like, love up. Like let's 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 get in the there. Fuck, and work. nigga, that shit just made me. Give him, give him, give him. That shit made me want to give him, give him. Goddamn. I'm trying some shit. Ah, uh, nah, I'm <laughs> nah, nigga. I ain't gonna hold you. I ain't gonna hold you. I'm gonna be like, hey man, let me run, take this jacket off, run to the bedroom real quick. I'll be right back. Man, put a Rick Ross on a nigga. God damn. I would have cried. Yeah, I had to go get myself good. together, but yeah, but that's. Like, that's a show on a heart, though. I know he respected your heart for being able to get in there with him. Like, Man, for sure, and, like, he know that, like, when I got in there, I wasn't scared. Like, I wasn't, like, like, I didn't give Floyd the respect like he was Floyd. I fought him like he was anybody else. Right. So that was, like, you know, I know that he respect him. Hey, gotta respect Forever yeah. to this day, he gonna, he, he gonna respect that about me. Like, he went in there, and he was trying to really go Yeah, because he probably saw himself in you, <clears> you <throat> know sure, what I mean? Because at sure. one point, he, he was a young nigga that was trying like, to. You're gonna be all right. Word. Like, yeah. yeah, you might have caught him. You <laughs> yeah. might have caught him with one of that nigga was like, this nigga don't give a fuck about who I am. So you so, oh, so, oh, you oh you serious? <laughs> oh, I bet. <laughs> nigga, you know who I am? Okay. So, so are you, he you, wouldn't say it, he'd have another nigga. Boy, you know who the fuck you are. <laughs> <laughs> so you represented cause you know. Hey young boy, hey. Hey, nigga, that's hey, 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 whoa! That's the money now. <laughs> don't hit the money like that, though. Don't get hit at him, motherfucker. Don't hit him. <laughs> hit at him. Hit at him. Hey, try to hit him. Hey, hey, try to hit him. Hey, this is, this is goddamn light work. We got, that nigga we got said apple water tonight. Hit him, nigga. Don't hit him. <laughs> when you hit at him, don't hit him. You got to go screw close. Yeah. Soon as you hit that nigga, ding, ding, ding. Boy, what the fuck are you doing? Let me talk to you. So look, are you Hey, come here. Hey, come here. Let me talk to you. Damn, look. Uh, what do they tell you, fool? This ain't that. This ain't that. Them camp HBO and this motherfucker. This ain't that. That ain't this. No. So he got something for you. Just don't. Hey. We got something for you when they're. Hey. Don't go in there trying to get. Hey. This ain't that. See, so you yeah. trying to be you. <laughs> I need you to go in That's there. That's not what we want. And not be you. Not be you. <laughs> <laughs> so are you. So you. You got your own team. Cause you know yeah. Floyd got his. You yeah. know they represent the, You know people that's up on the floor. And yeah. you, you can tell like the people that's up on the floor. All right, they about to go crazy. Yeah. What makes you stand out? And be like, all right, I'm gonna market myself and I'm gonna do my own thing. Really, Floyd. To be honest, like just seeing his, like following his blueprint, and I just did it at a way younger age. I was able to, you know, get the game early, and. Um, that's when I was like, fuck it. Like, the, the deals I was being offered, it just wasn't like, I, I just knew I was worth way, way better more. Than that, right? Like, you have a promoter, more. like, so, yeah, you yeah, now I have a promoter. But, um, so what I did was, you know, me and my dad, we was like, fuck it, like, let's just wait. And the deals that they offering you now, if we, it can't be the same deals when you 12 and 0, 15 and 0. It gotta be get better. It can't get, it can't be the same if you 0 and 0. Right. right. So, uh, so we just basically <clears> held out until we found that right deal. And, um, that was when we signed, but we did a co-promotional deal. So where it was my company and their company together, instead of just me signing my whole everything, everything away, right just, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Just giving them everything. And that, that yeah. boxing business, man, you know, I yeah. gotta give a salute to Al Heyman, man, just because a lot of people don't recognize him as a businessman, but sure. Slim got his hands in so much shit, sure. especially with boxing and just understanding the promotion of fighting, because it's such an art to promote a fight, you know what I mean? To get people interested in two people getting in the ring and beating the shit out each other. That's it's a gruesome shit. So when you can market it and make it something people want to watch and come to, man. So you taking that opportunity to do it on your own. Salute to you as well, man. That's a hell of a.
Yeah, man. 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 You feel me? Like an open nigga. Like an open nigga. Yeah. 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 <laughs> you doing your thing. We got him waiting on you, boy. <laughs> Whatever your favorite flavor is, man. Man, what can, man? I got the pussy in the food. Okay. <laughs> Love, hey, man. Don't we let appreciate it be your last you stopping time. by, bro. This is your first time. Uh -huh. Don't let it be your last time. Yeah, it's what he said. He said he's going to 155. He said he's going to 154. That's what he said. Cat don't want you to go. No, Cat wasn't in there for that. One more time. Because, uh, yeah. Yeah. So like a catch weight is like when, like say, I'm I'm at 135, somebody at 140. It's a huge fight that we can make, so we can meet in the middle. We can meet at 138, or you know sometimes you know we go a little lower, 137, depending on who got more leverage, and they do a catch weight to where, you know, I'm not getting an advantage. Fighting that, dropping you down at my weight, and you're not getting the advantage of me coming up to your, up your weight. weight. Right, so all they, the they, way. They do, they do a catch weight, and uh, yeah. But it still don't matter, because at the end of the day, when y'all come in the but ring, a nigga going to be but it his matter. weight. It do matter, because sometimes when you cut too much weight, it takes away from your power. Yeah, that's why that's why uh, Roy Jones was fucked up when he fought Tava that first yeah. time because yeah, he had went up the heavyweight up. Yeah. and then dropped all that See, weight yeah, to come Roy back Jones down. Was going up and down, up and down. Yeah, and he, he, he was he was yeah. he was burnt out. He couldn't. He was he lost all that weight. He, he went up to fight for He went up to heavyweight. He went to heavyweight. When he went to heavyweight, he tried to he gained a bunch of muscle because he was trying to get you know bigger, stronger to be competing at heavyweight. So then he tried to lose the weight yeah. and he, he, it took away from his muscles. So yeah. his, his body just- Buddy right. McGurton and knew it too. They was like, nigga, that's why he said you got any excuses tonight. Cause when he came off that, dropped all that weight to come back down, they knew that, you know, just him coming up, losing all that muscle, nigga, he was done in that first right. fight against Tom. Yeah. You know what right. I'm saying? Like right. that shit hard that's to real. do. <clears throat> Damn. Look, man, we appreciate you stopping through. Sure. Yeah. 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 Pop your shit. Hold on, hold on.